Welcome back to more Oceanhorn 2, everybody. So, in the last episode, we made it here to this town, this village, and we're gonna eat some dinner. So, let's go ahead and sit down and watch some events, some cutscenes here. Come to the tower near town. Bring the key to the town gate from the chest. Okay. Was this chest here the whole time? No, it wasn't. There's no way I would have missed that. Okay, I thought there was actually going to be some dialogue there, but there wasn't. Never mind on that. Um, but okay, I think that's... I guess I can just exit. Well, you know what I missed? I saw something that I missed down there, and I'm sure you saw it too. There was a sparkling light. Okay, I don't know what that close-up shot was for, but all right. Uh, let's go back in here. What now? Oh, seriously? Okay, you can just skip it by whole. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad I figured that out. Woke up. It is your big day, boy. Hurry to the tower in the forest. Master Mayfair has a surprise for you. If you get lost, take a look at the yellow symbol on your map. You know the day you've been training for. I will come too. Don't forget to stock up at the vending machine near Lori's Inn. I'm off. See you later. Sounds good. Alright. Let's go ahead and enter back here, though, because there is actually something that I saw here that I want. And that's this. Totally missed that. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Wow, they respond that fast? Jesus. Well, that's interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. And now it's time to just, uh, what was that? Oh, it's there again. See, that's the one that actually gave me a lot of experience, right? Okay, well, this time it was money, but... Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Why does it say red over there? Oh, it's the... F I was like, is there an enemy here? No, it's treating that training dummy as an enemy. Which I find pretty funny. Hey, you. Kaiko? Keiko? Kaiko? So, the yellow triangle or goal is over there onto the left side, and I should probably go over there. I mean, there's definitely... Oh, hey. Nothing new, you said? Okay. Yeah, there's a chest over here, and I want to see how I can get it. It's up there. Oh, there's also a little shiny object down there. Alright, let's go ahead and open this. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Wooden statue. That's worth 20. You can also open all these doors here and get some... Some possible items, you know? Uh, let's see. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of those things. Uh, what's over here, though? Oh, there's a chest over there. So that's the thing, it's important to um, be going into all of these buildings because they each might have treasure chests. Amber, it's worth 50. Okay. There's one over here, anything? Oh, it just fell. Whoops. What in the world was that, dude? Those were some mad hopping skills. Here's a shiny object, I'll take that. More money, cool. It's a lot of money opportunities here. And uh, I guess that's it. Alright, so where the hell is the door? 
Can you sleep here? No. Well... Because the icon is showing a blue thing there, and I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is the blue for? Well, the ladder will just take you back up there, but... Okay. I guess I'll just... Oh, so that's, that's what it was for. It was for the damn door. I was like, wait, because I thought it was showing the bed. I'm like, why was why would the bed be uh, have a blue icon on the minimap, you know? Okay, so we went there. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Any more chests? There's actually plenty of chests, yes. Um, the goal is over there to the left side. I'm just going to run this way. Alright, ooh, look at this. Road to Old Mine. Well, too bad it's freaking destroyed. <laughs> go this way. Is it, is it worth it? I mean, I can keep entering all these different shops and areas here because there are treasure chests, see? You need to find Innkeeper's Key. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. I don't know how many more of these stores I should be trying to explore right now because I can get some more chests if I really want to, to get more, but it's not really necessary, you know? Vending machine. Emergency kit, ammo. The hell is that? Honestly, I have no idea. And I'm gonna skip it. Okay, um. Yeah, there's some stuff here. I guess I'll take this. Why did you just whip out your sword? What the hell was that? I didn't press. Did I press Y? There's no way. Okay, also, these things over here... You should know what these are, right? Find a bloodstone, look, that reflects light, as if there were drops of blood inside. Got a bloodstone. Hell yeah. Now, there should be... Wait, wasn't there another... No, right? I'm going crazy, that's what's happening. Can't break that. Can I go up there? Nope, I cannot. But yeah, there should be... Let, let me see if there... Because, um, you know, the other game did have the... Um, oh, there we go. Let's, uh, 1 out of 52. Nice. So there's 52 of those in this game, which is actually kind of a lot. Sort of. Uh, what is this? Warning Explosives. Great. Anything over here? There's not. Alright. We can come here, place the key. And this here will take us to... The next place. Alright. I don't think there's going to be that much in here. I'm just going to... Yeah, I should probably just run straight through. If I see items, sure I'll take them, but... It's fine. It's not a huge deal regardless. There's a giant cannon there, okay. What's up? Fisherman Joe. I didn't read this. What does it say? To Warden Woods. That's where I must go. Into the Warden Woods. Valley of the Warden. Okay. Beware of Scarabaras. Scarabaras. Why? I've already bought plenty of these shits. They're actually really simple, you know? I got some experience there. Ooh, there's a climbable thing right here. Alright, so let's see. So the place I'm gonna go to, that is really far over there. Okay. There's definitely a lot of places I can try and go to. Look at these giant boulders. Can't do too much there yet, though. I mean, I can come over here. This is one of these targets. Now, let, let me... I guess I can try and show you um, for the first time. If you press L2, you don't have this, and you simply press um, R2 to shoot. Look at that, I just made a gate. A gate go down. 
I'm pretty sure that's permanent. I don't know, I might actually be wrong about that. Not entirely sure, but we'll see. Ooh, look at this. Another item over here. And that seems to be it for this area. One thing you can also do is you can take a swim. But this does consume stamina. So yes, you can drown. And you obviously don't want that to happen, so... Another enemy. Did you just defend? But no, I think that's because I hit the freaking... Oh my god. I died. I can grab this. Um, the thing is, I think I lost it on that experience, right? I, I'm pretty sure. I just, like, freaking died there. Seek for the target. Oh, brave. Okay, I already did that. Well, I've explored a decent amount. Already. But I'm kind of curious, uh, let's see, let's just take a look at all Here's some bombs, okay. Be careful about those bombs. Oh, crap. The Warden from the Ancient Times. Dude, I keep hitting stuff that's inhibiting my attack combo. God dang it. There are a lot of an- ooh. Oh no, no, I didn't. I missed. No, I got one, I got one. Well, that's cool. That I at least got one. Okay, got something here. It's pretty neat. Some money, I'll take it. And there's a chest over here. This one I can definitely get to quite easily. There's another chest over there, a little bit further. Ooh, look at this. Power Shard Flames, Flame of Ares. If attached to a weapon or an item, this mysterious gem gives it a small boost in damage. Uh, I'll say no. Basically, the way shards work is that, and you should be able, yeah, so. Wait, what do you, whoops, not that. Don't you, um, wait, what do you see this? What the hell? I thought I might practice when I, what the fuck? Equip Power Shard 0 out of 1. Well, if I do this and put add shard, there we go. Now I can do a little bit more damage, which is pretty cool, you know? There's a chest over there. One thing that I guess I shouldn't have done was open that door earlier, but... Oh well. Alright, let's just see how much more damage. Well, there we go. What in the world? I think this leads to another chest over here. Yep, it does. And this here is a bag of gold. You find 100 coins. Perfect. A lot of money. I'm at 534 money. Oh my god, my health is actually pretty low. I need to, I need to hit some grass. What is going on? I think I was stuck there for a bit. Get that sneak attack, that's right. Ooh, another one here, huh? These things are always hidden here, what the hell? I'll take that, alright. Um, that's about all I can find over here on this side. I mean, the main things to look for are treasure chests and bloodstones. Speaking of bloodstones, there's one over there. And let's see, okay, we got some, and there's another one over there too, holy crap. Okay, get over here. Oh shit. Damn it, I hate it. Sometimes they're aggressive when they actually attack two times in a row, and sometimes they don't give a shit. To Arcadian High Road. Alright, well, I can get to this bloodstone fairly easily, just, you know. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh look, I'll grab this in the meantime, I suppose. Sure. And there we go. We can come here, grab that. That's another bloodstone. Alright, so... 
See, that's probably just going to keep making me... Oh, I probably should have went the other way first then. You know what, let's explore that side before I keep going this way, you know? Only because I really don't want to mess it up. <laughs> and be like, oh shit, I missed something over here. Yeah, like, what's over here? Oh. Okay. To the real archaeologists. Application for Archaeologists Asso Association. Tuh. Pick up. Place. Ooh, look at that. I made this open. What could this be? Oh, the questions. The mystery. Let's enter. Alright, so the big question is where the hell are we, right? So these things here... Wait. Essentially, if you go... Oh my god, I actually should... I guess I can technically run all the way and show all these, but these are all basically clothes at the moment. And they show little images of some stuff, like what the heck? Almost resembling like warp stones, huh? Hmm? Something like that? Possibly, yes. And that's the very last one over here. Look how fast your stamina drains, by the way. Like, did you see that? That's a little insane, isn't it? Yep. Now, if you keep going all the way around, I want to make sure about this, but I don't believe there's actually anything worthwhile. I can show you, but yeah, so like, that's a corner, and there's like pretty much nothing. But there we go, I mean, it's important to, you know, regardless to try and get all these all over the world. As you play more and more, more stuff will be available to be able to, you know, go from one place to another, so... Pretty neat. Yeah, I know it's kind of a mess how I'm leaving all that, but that's fine. It's not like there's anything important. Because there isn't. Yeah, see? So that was the whole corner right there, and I'm just gonna run on up here. So technically speaking, we missed the first one, because now it's showing that I came from the second one. Hmm. Well, alright then. Warden Woods Valley of the Warden. But hey, it's opened. Oh, shit. I think all these enemies respawned, right? I'm pretty sure they did. It's kind of not good. Alright, now we just need to run all the way. All the way, and I think everything ended up resetting. Why, why did it say question mark? Oh, pfft. I was like, what in the world? Die. Die, die, die. Any more? Come on, you. Shit. Oh my god, these things are actually vicious. Look at this. That thing just freaking did not stop attacking non-stop. I know I should be defending, and I'm being stupid for that, but... I'm just saying, still, the point still stands. Like, what in the world? I'm almost dead. I'm one hit away from death. I need some I need some health. I need some hearts. Some hearts, please. Well, shoot. No hearts. Okay, so where did I come from? Okay, I already explored all that. I don't need to be going that way. What the heck am I doing? What I need to be doing is running this way. Hopefully there's some hearts. There we go. Got some health, okay. Pretty good. And then got some more health. And then there's another item over here. And got some more health. What the hell is that? Etika. E Come on. Okay, that was pretty easy. In fact, I think those things were actually easier than the other damn enemies that we've fought so far. Alright, so we're across this river. There's a sign here that says, Out of Order. Arcadian High Road. 
There's a bird following me. Or it's not really a bird, it's I don't even know what the hell you want to call this shit. Oh, did that hit me? I don't know if that got me. Alright, well there we go. Getting another bloodstone here. That's number three. Bloodstone number three. Okay, so let's see. The destination is actually on that side, so... I ended up taking a wrong turn. Because I don't believe this pathway, that's going to lead to the next place, which I... No, that's not where we want to go, so what I'm going to have to do is kind of swerve around. I believe. Because I need the, um... The high road more than likely, so I'm gonna have to run back that way. This over here. I believe that is the correct way to go. Beacon Hill Valley of the Warden, there we go. We made it to the correct place. Here's Beacon Hill Valley of the Warden. What is that huge tower? Jeez. Oh, money? What did I just see money? Yeah, there's money. Money. Oh god, more of these. Come on. Shit. Get over here. Those things really like to run away from you. Um, okay, so now what we have to do is... Uh, and there's a chest all the way down there. Is that really the only chest that I can see? I guess so. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll take that. Yeah, see a chest? Yeah, it would be that one. I mean, this place is actually really small, so... It's not that bad. You can carry and throw various objects. No shit. There you are. What is this? It takes two to get to the chest. What is this? Companions, if the good knight is a, in a dire situation, he will ask his or her friends to help him. Whether it is about taking down an impossible foe or solving a puzzle, together everything will be easier. The good knight access the radial menu to give commands to his companions. Oh, I see. That's what it you gotta do. Just like yesterday, that we came here to have a picnic, and I carried you home on my shoulders. There we go. Today, okay. So it's not about an ability. Well, technically speaking, it is another a field I ability. Don't know why Master Mayfair closed it in the first place? He's waiting for us inside. But okay. Wait, you joined my party? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So now we got what we gotta do. I think I can help you with this one. Can you? What are you doing? Let's see if you can. Um. There we go. Okay, I finally found it. You have to do a command. Okay, is that gonna work? Okay, took some damage. Okay, finally got that to work. Sorry, I had to, oh my god, it really just blew past me, like, how in the hell you actually do this, you know? There we go, got an item. That is wooden statue, 20 coins. Okay, so now... What we need to do... Wait, a wait button. Oh, no, no, you can, you can get out of there. It's all good. Okay. Okay, so what you actually had to do was come all the way, and here's the thing, it is not very obvious. It is not. You have to come over here, and then run all the way this way, and then aim the spear. It's actually one of the first puzzles in the game where you're like, what the fuck? Seriously? Yep. Seriously. Um, took me a while to get that, but it's not obvious. It actually, it's actually difficult to know you have to run back there and find that little spear that's pretty difficult to find. 
And then you finally get up here, and oh my god. That was actually a huge pain in the ass, but whatever. We did it. Okay, so... Game progress save is one of the most famous beacons. Alright. Well, if let's do it. Could talk, this place has stood here for hundreds of years, if not longer. Good to know. Good to know, Jen. Okay, the Mage Guild asked me to deliver the food or rations to this tower. Uh, okay. Gonna grab that. What's up? What's up, enemy? What the hell? What was that? Did he just disappear? I'm dead. <laughs> oh god. How did I- I just got hit- I just got killed in two hits, just to let you know. The amount of damage that thing did was ridiculous. I mean, I fought one of these earlier in the first dungeon, but you gotta be very careful here. Okay, that was much easier. I don't know what happened last time, but I just got completely annihilated and bombarded, like, super fast. Um, okay, so a lot of stuff are closed here, so we gotta figure out what to do. There's a ladder over here, I guess we can take this. The thing is, though, we need to end the episode very soon. Because we're almost out of time here. There's another lover over here. I'll take that and then, you know, hit that. And there we go, makes a gate lower. Pretty good. Pretty good, I must say. Be careful now. Oh, jeez. So I basically just fell through. Well, this is only a minor setback. Luckily, there's this climbable thorn area over here. Get out of the way, dude. Okay, seriously? Can I jump that? No, I can't. Um, interesting. I'm seeing if there's anything else. I don't want to do here, but not really. I hit the only possible lever and going the only possible. No, I do. Well, the game isn't letting me jump though. Hold on, but let me try again. Oh no, it did. It's just. Oh shoot! It's because I. I didn't even see the thorns on this side. To be honest, I really didn't. Hmm. Fire Cactus. Yeah, watch out for these things. They really bury themselves everywhere. They're quite dangerous. They're quite dangerous indeed. Um, okay, now we're just gonna... Wait, can we go in here? Well, that's... That would need some fire, which I can just go ahead and do with this. And then run straight through. Okay, well, you need to be smarter, dude. And another bloodstone, that's pretty good. I mean, apparently there were two ways to approach this over here, but... Oh, look at that, there you are. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the episode here, though, regardless, uh, just because, well... I'll talk to you first. safe from your trip to Outcast Island and fulfilled your mission. You have finished your training, son. What could be a better stage for your grand moment than one of the famous beacons? This structure was not made by Arcadians. Beacons are much older, remnants of the world's unknown past. For centuries, this beacon has been a shelter for travelers, a lookout for commanders, and now simply a landmark for a remote town. Follow me. I want to give you something.
You have lived during the time of peace. But it wasn't that long ago when we fought in the dire folk war in the Outlands. I was there when the war ended, at the Riskborn Citadel. Inside a dark hall, we saw the creature behind the war. Shadow Maga. Its face was hidden behind a horned mask. My fellow knight Sir Corbin and I did not stand a chance against the creature, but a young warlock who was with us possessed the power of magic. Even in the heat of the battle, he was able to concentrate on a difficult spell and defeat Shadow Maga. The only thing left of Shadow Maga was its mask. The young warlock picked it up and fitted it over his face. At that time, he took the name of Mesmeroth. I owe my life to that man. People celebrated us as war heroes, but it was Mesmeroth who ended the war, and people glorified him for that. Here, I want you to have this. It is my old caster. You are a knight now, but it is not always an easy path to follow. Remember that to live the life of a knight is to protect and serve the kingdom. Follow your heart in all your decisions. Your new caster gun was created by the best Arcadian mages. If you gather enough different materials, your caster gun can create spells. Try it out. There should be enough useful material lying around. Give it a shot. Okay, so I got the caster gun. It was in the box that I, uh, that I ended up saving. There we go. I'm gonna open this chest here and I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode. Right now. Fire spell container for the caster gun. I can hold five units of spell with the capacity can be expanded. Gather fire mento to fill the fire spell container. But yeah, so that appears, um... Fire spell. A spell that gives its will the power of extreme heat. Fire spell sets... When an object, so uh, yeah, so all that good stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day. Bloodstone.